welcome and enjoy this project with us. In this video, New Build Construction will show you 7 steps on how to build a foundation substructure for a floating house on a sand dune. So let's get started. New Build Construction is registered with the NHBRC and has a professional team of qualified workers and professionals to provide affordable innovative concrete building solutions. We were the first company that manufacture and build concrete homes with the FinBuilder technology in the Western Cape, South Africa. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when we post new videos. Before any construction can take place on a sand dune, we need to take soil samples to be analyzed and tested by our structural engineer to find the right soil conditions for construction. To do this, we had to dig a couple of testing holes, of about 2 meters deep, and take the soil samples to be analyzed. As a result we were instructed, by the engineer to cut the dune horizontally down with 3 meters to the preferred soil level. This left us with a 9 meter rise that we still need to transfer all material from the supply base or street level, up the dune to where we need it for construction. To solve this problem, we placed plywood on the slope of the dune as a footing for a conveyor belt to transfer the material. The footing also helps the personnel to easily walk up the dune. With the conveyor belt in place, we are able to supply the mixer on top of the dune with material from the street level. Only now we were ready for construction to commence. Step 1. Opening of Trenches A piece of advice with trenches on sand, never open all the trenches at once, because the moment the wind pick up it will blow all the loose sand back into your trench causing you double work. Do one trench at a time and make use of form work. Pillar foundations are used on the edge of a slope, and to cast these pillars we need to open the trench holes 3 meters deep. So how does this work? Foundations have a pressure span of 45 degrees in all the downward directions. If any span protrudes the edge of the dune the house will fail. Therefore we need to go down to prevent this. The strip foundation trenches are thoroughly compacted and formwork is placed to prevent wasting concrete. Step 2. Placing a blinding as a base for the foundation. The purpose of the blinding is to prevent the spacers for the reinforced steel to sink into the sand when the weight of the steel is placed on the spacers.
Step 3. Steel Fixing. Steel fixing is the process of shaping, fitting and positioning steel bars in a certain way to serve as reinforcement to avoid weakening the overall strength of the foundation. The structural engineer will provide a steel bending schedule and drawings for this purpose. Once the reinforcement steel is placed in the trenches, the starter bars for the columns are fixed and put in place. Now we are ready for step 4. Costing of the foundation concrete. Step 5. Fixing the column steel to the starter bars that was tied into the reinforcement steel of the foundation. Because of the weight of the wet concrete, it's best to make use of steel forms to cast the column's concrete. It's also much faster to assemble than wooden form work. Step 6. Casting of the column's concrete. It does not work to cure the columns with running water, best way is to wrap the columns with plastic or clean wrap to trap the moisture and prevent that the column concrete dry out too quickly. Step 7. Beam Steel Fixing.
This is the last step on how to build a foundation substructure for a floating house on a sand dune. Thank you for watching, we really appreciate you sticking around till the end. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos.